Hey YouTube friends, this is going to be a quick review of the Grab Bag MK1 produced by British Tactical. Now I'll put a link in the description box below to this bag and I really suggest you get over there and check out their website. They're incredibly nice people and they produce a great product. So when you go to their website you'll find that this bag is shown with light olive green webbing. And so I contacted them and asked, is there a way that I could get it with Coyote Brown webbing so that it would match my U.S.-made gear? And they replied promptly and said, sure, just tell us at the end of your order that you would like Coyote Brown webbing, and we will get that to you as soon as possible. And so within a week, I had this bag on my doorstep, and they had done just that. They had put coyote brown webbing on it for me and I could not be happier. Now the bag is made with a thousand denier cordura fabric which means it's going to be very tough, very sturdy, very able to stand up to abrasions and it's going to be basically waterproof. 500 denier cordura fabric is a bit more waterproof than the thousand denier but this is still going to give you a good deal of waterproofing for whatever gear you store in here. Now the pattern itself is Cry Multicam, which is very interesting because a lot of British companies use the UK MTP, or the Multi-Terrain Pattern. However, British Tactical uses the US-made Cry Multicam. So if you're wondering if this will match your US-made gear, then the answer is yes. This is the sanctioned Cry Multicam Pattern. Now up top here you have a 6 inch area of velcro loop which allows you to stick any type of patches or name tape to the front of your bag. Also up top you have two zippers which allow you to close or open it from either direction. Also you have a set of handles here which I must say is interesting because a lot of the grab bags I've seen tend not to have top handles. I know that's odd seeing as it's called a grab bag, but a lot of them just have the shoulder straps with no handles up top. So it's nice to have a grab bag with handles where you can grab this and run with it. Now what's really nice about this bag and actually really unique about it is that it has webbing all the way around it, not just on the front, but on the sides and on the back, which enables you to attach such things as these Grimlocks, which aren't included with the bag. I have these on here to attach it to other gear. But it also enables you to put pouches on the front, the sides, and the back. Now the reason why this is interesting is because a lot of grab bags will have places on the sides or the front to store gear, but not always on the back. And a grab bag is meant to sit, let's say, in a vehicle, in your home, in barracks, and they're meant to be quickly grabbed when you need to run and go. And so it's nice to have some type of system that allows you to put as much gear on the outside of it so that you can have a, a great amount of gear in a very small package. And so I really like how it has webbing all the way around it. Now one thing to think about, and this is one thing that I don't care much about when it comes to this bag, is that the amount of webbing here on the front is odd numbered. That is, you have uh, these little loops here, and there's seven rather than six or eight, which means it's more difficult to attach this bag to other gear. Most bags have generally six across it, or at least an even number, and not generally an odd. And so if you want to attach this to gear, it would have been better to have an even number so that it'll attach to an even set. This, however, is an odd set. And so I would have liked to have seen that changed, but it was more of a necessity because of the dimensions of this bag. Now, as you can see, I've turned this bag inside out in order to show you a few things that I found interesting. Number one, there are no pockets on the inside of this bag, and I would have liked that for more organization. It would have been nice to have one pocket here, let's say, and one pocket here, or perhaps two on either side, 
for a bit more organization of, let's say, pens, pencils, paper, medical supplies, things of that nature. But ultimately, it's not going to matter too much because this is a fairly small bag and so you're not going to be losing a bunch of gear in it. Nevertheless, I would have liked to see some organizational pouches on the inside. Now, what is nice, though, is that you find uh, a lot of extra attention to detail when you look at the inside of this bag. Number one, the multicam fabric has a waterproof coating on it, which means that this is going to stay more waterproof than if it was non-coated on the inside. And so you can be reasonably assured that whatever is in this bag will stay dry. And you do have two holes on the bottom in case water does get in the bag. This allows it to be a bit more breathable. Uh, the second thing is, is that you have another layer of fabric on most of the inside of this bag, except for around the zipper area. What this again means is that it's going to be a tougher bag, it's going to be more waterproof, but in turn it is a bit heavier because of it. Nevertheless, I don't mind the bit of heft for more durability. And then finally, you find that everywhere that should be double stitching, there is double stitching. So right here along where the uh, zipper comes down, also where the buckle of the attachment is for the shoulder strap, there's double stitching, actually triple stitching in this small area. And so you can be assured that you're not going to rip this bag carrying a lot of weight if you're carrying it from a shoulder strap. So do I recommend this bag to you guys? Most definitely yes. I really like this bag. I really like the type of materials and the way this thing is built. But I also like the company that made it. They're really kind people who are willing to work with you on the details of this bag so that you are a satisfied customer. However, there are a few things that I would have liked to have seen changed about this bag that would bring it up from being a really good bag to, in my, my estimation, a perfect grab bag. Now, those things would be I would have liked it to have been just a fraction wider. Now, the reason is, is because this almost accommodates my 13-inch laptop, but my laptop is just a fraction of an inch too large to fit in here. If this were a bit longer, then it would be a bit more versatile for EDC. Also, if this were a bit wider, you would be able to have eight loops on the front instead of the typical seven that you have with this bag. And what that would allow you to do is that would allow you to attach this bag to a lot of other gear more easily. Because this is 7, that's why I had to resort to using the Grimlocks, and even then it's not a perfect system. If this were 8, I could use the typical Molly straps and just attach this to my backpack. Also, I would have liked to have seen some organizational pockets on the inside of this, but as I have said earlier, that's not a huge deal because this is not a large bag where you're going to lose a ton of stuff in it. But the organizational pouches would have been nice. The third thing is this does not come with a shoulder strap, which a lot of grab bags do come with shoulder straps when you buy the bag. You have to purchase the shoulder strap either from British Tactical for seven pounds, or you have to go elsewhere and purchase a strap for this bag. And I really recommend going elsewhere. The one provided by British Tactical is not very good quality. It's not long enough to wear down on your side. In fact, for me, it rode right up under the armpit. Also, it's only an inch wide and has no padding on it. So if you're loading this thing down like I do with medical supplies and ammunition, then you're going to have that strap cut into your shoulder very quickly, and this is going to become extremely uncomfortable. So definitely look into either making your own strap or buying one from another company because this will probably need a strap if you're going to use it as it was intended. 
Nevertheless, for 30 pounds, you're getting a great bag made out of great fabric by great people, and I really recommend you go over there and check it out. As always, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.